What are you hoping that your position will accomplish in the Edmonton Public Library? I think uh, my hope and the accomplishment would be that we open doors for Indigenous people, the young ones, okay. because libraries was never thought of as a, as a career opportunity. And I'm hoping that uh, that the young people will look at it as a as an opportunity to have secure employment. Okay. And to be able to uh, have that um, that ability to uh, to buy their own home, uh, to be able to have that ability to to go on vacations with their children. Okay. Because uh, here's an opportunity, I think. You're talking about Indigenous people getting involved, becoming active in the community. Talk to me a little bit more about that aspect. Article 62 of the recommendation says that we all have a responsibility to do, to find our own path and how do we go to, about reconciliation reconcil and then the actions that we need to take. So I think we need to look at that and say, well, what is my responsibility? What am I going to do in terms of reconciliation? And how am I going to engage? Because we we uh, are the people that are going to, uh, that younger people are going to watch. If they see us walk in a positive way, in a direction that's meaningful, in a direction that's very beneficial in many ways, the young people are going are gonna to want that. We've got to give that positive demonstration of what life could be uh, in, in regards to what we do, okay. the positive things that we do. Okay. How important is it to you that non-Indigenous patrons of the library come and talk to you and get to know you? Well, it's very important. I, I, I met a lot of people. I have a lot of friends who are, are non-Indigenous. You know, I've, I've, had, I've developed that relationship many years ago. So, uh, learning from other uh, other other uh, groups is very important. Non-Indigenous, uh, I hear their stories. I, I listen to them, and you know, for many years we were told there was a difference, but there's not a difference because each and every one of us we speak the same language now. Uh, the heart inside us beats as well it's in the same way. So we need to get together and talk about. Um, what are the truths and how we can help each other and engage in a better relationship moving forward. Okay. You just said you learn from the non-Indigenous people. So it's a two-way street then. They learn from you and you learn from yes, them. Yes, yes. Okay. I'll give you an example. Uh, many years ago when I was chief, in, uh, uh, I, got, I met this, young, uh, this elderly man in the airport. His name was Lou Tice. Lou Tice was a motivational speaker for Anthony Robbins. Okay. And Lou invited me to Vancouver to come to one of his sessions and I went. And and this was all uh, and by an invite, by just meeting him at the airport. And because of that, I got a, a chance to understand motivational speaking. I got a, a chance to under, uh, meet people that, that could speak like that. So that helped me lots. Mm -hmm. It encouraged me to, that what you say is important, what you do is even more important, but how you say it is important. Okay. Yes. So what, what are your physical um, expectations in the library? Will you be here Monday through Friday, certain hours? How is that going to work? Do you well, know? It's already said. Monday through Friday, I'm here at, uh, from 9 till 4.30. Oh, okay. And then at the other library, Abbots, Abbotsfield, I'm okay. there from 10 till 6. Okay. So, and I get to just sit around and talk with people for now. Okay. And then, because we're just at the beginning stage. Okay. And you know, once we develop the community and then what the community wants, then we'll go that direction as okay. well. Okay, so right now you're spending your time between this library and Abbotsfield yes. then? Okay. Yes. All right.